Hi, Gemini. Your weekly reading, um, this, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Gemini strongly in their chart. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and dig right in. Um, the space you're going to be really in for this group of Gemini people as you're moving into this week um, is the justice energy. So um, you're going to be very aware of, of um, what's right, what's fair, how to do things, uh, what's the win-win for everyone. It's, it does feel like a kind of a team effort. Whether you're here with another person, there is a King of Pentacles here. Um, it, it does feel like there, there's two of you or three of you here. Um, so I don't think it's just you this week. I think you're kind of intermingling with, I feel like you're probably in, intermingling with a masculine um, as you're moving forward. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think that you're really understanding and seeing like how this could really work out for you. What What's the best way to make decisions and what, what are the best ways to kind of decide on this? And I, I think that you're in a really good spot. Um, as as you're moving through this, I think you know what your causes are. Um, you know what inspires you and what motivates you. And I think that you're taking the time and having the focus to really make sure this new project or this new experience that you're in is taken care of in the best way possible. Um, the Empress is in reverse. I really think that the creation is over with. Like the baby has been born, the project has been created. So you really don't have to grow anything or, or create anything at this point. It's already sort of, it's already there. It might be in a, a young stage. It could be um, in a youthful stage, whether this is a relationship or a project or, a, you know, could be a child too, because the Empress is here. But yeah, I mean, I think that the baby's, the baby's uh, here and and the project is here and it's in the beginning of the process more than likely. And it's something that you're working on that's pretty motivating. Three of Pentacles, it has a really good energy with it. Um, yes, it's still at the beginning of the process, but I think you have a pretty good partner here and you're in, in and you're working to make sure that it's fair, fair for all three of you, maybe all three of you, maybe just two of you kind of depends on your situation. But yeah, I think you're like looking at this and saying, how can we make this work in a way that's going to be good for everyone? And I, and I think you're staying very much aware um, of what is healthy, of what's important to, to, to stay focused on as far as your mental health and your emotional health and how you feel about the safety of this project. Uh, if, is it safe? Is it being taken care of well? Um, how can we take care of it in the best way possible? Uh, so, so you're kind of juggling how can we do this in the best way, but how can we also do this in a way that's fair and right for both of us? So yeah, you're you're kind of working your way through this, but ultimately I think it is a a pretty good feeling, and I think um, you're, you're feeling yeah, I think you're feeling pretty good about where you're at and and what you're doing. You have a sense of calm here. There is an edge of maybe an edge of defensiveness or an edge of like this protectionary um, kind of a quality, but then again, I think that's sort of wearing down. I don't think you're you're needing to be as strong and as protective as you as you used to, but you're willing to do that, and you've got that Queen of Swords, Gemini. Like that's your way of communicating. That's your that's quickness. That's inte intellectual uh, gathering and and uh, speaking and and really being on top of what's important. So you do have that ability, um, but I just feel like that's wearing down just a little bit. That's sort of diminishing as you're moving forward and by the time you get to the end of the week you're moving into the hermit space so there's a lot here that you're learning and you might even be doing some pretty big thinking about the process moving forward this hermit is connected in to you uh to you gemini and also to the king of pentacles so you do have a masculine, most of you have a masculine here that's a part of this story. And it's really up to the both of you, I think, Gemini. It's up to the both of you to really kind of create a situation that's going to be um, the best for everyone. And I think that it's working with the systems that you have, working with the systems that you have around you, 
whether it's with your employers or with your um, the rules of your relationship or um, the long-term goals that you have, whatever it is that you're working through, I think that you are really gaining some insight now at how you can make this happen. Uh, there are some qualities here that you're working on that might not be like the most traditional way. Uh, you have the hermit here, then looking into the magician. So um, I think you're realizing the strengths that you have, the weaknesses that you have, the strengths that the King of Pentacles has, the weaknesses that the King of Pentacles has. I think you're recognizing those qualities and you're, you're realizing something has to be figured out here. And I think you're really kind of going to bat for a solution that might not be super traditional and might not be what people expect you guys to do. But I think that there's something here you're building that is going to be suited just for you guys and customary just for you guys. And it really kind of takes you a little bit of time to kind of dig into how we can do this. And there's some craftiness here. Uh, there's some smart, some street smartness coming forward, just learning the systems around you, learning the process, understanding the rights that you have, understanding the best way forward, and really thinking out of the box. The magician is really able to think out of the box, and sometimes he can be a little sneaky in order to get it, to get things done. And I think that you're not against doing that. It's not that you're going to be, uh, I don't think you're going to be cheating anyone or stealing or, or breaking your own personal standards or ethics, but I think that you are going to be uh, okay with doing things that are um, um, a little bit on the sly. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, sometimes that's how we make the most progress in our lives is by kind of pulling away from the societal norms and saying, heck, you know what? This is what's going to fit, fit us best. And sometimes things can go really well that way. So yeah, I see that kind of quality here. Um, as you're moving through to the end of the week, we have you moving, both of you moving into the judgment position, especially the King of Pentacles. So there's like a new a brand new feeling. You guys could be creating something brand new in your relationship, whether it's love or family or work, whatever it is, you guys, I just feel like there's a new, there's a newfound sense of betterment here between the two of you. I think that's really beautiful. And I think both of you have worked really hard to get to this place. I think the King of Pentacles has been in the Hermit as well. Uh, understanding his qualities, understanding what he's good at, what, what he's, um, not so good at. I think both of you guys have been really thinking hard about how to do this and you're both willing to take a route that's less traveled because it fits you. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's bringing forward like some sort of brand newness here that's really invigorating. And, and I think it's a, it's a great relief to both of you. So there's some beautiful problem solving going on here by both people. Uh, and I think that these people are, this people, Ge Gemini, including you, I, I really don't think you're doing a whole lot of talking about this. this is something that might be just happening just within the both of you, just in the quiet of your relationship. The, these, um, re, uh, I, I want to call it a transformation, but I wouldn't really call it that. Um, it's just, Whereas before the two of you might have struggled, now you're on the same page. And I think you really are recognizing the care and the consideration that you have for one another. And that is helping to bring this into a new level. And I think that there is a pretty nice solution that's coming in here for you, Gemini. Let's clarify a couple of these cards. I'll clarify more in the extended, but... I always like to have a, a, a full reading, um, a reading that I feel satisfied with myself. And so I want to kind of dig in here. I just don't feel like it's ended yet. This reading is not ended yet. Hmm. How does the Queen of Swords fit in with the Magician? How does the Queen of Swords fit in with the Magician? How does the Queen of Swords connect to the Magician? Two of Swords. How does the 
the Two of Swords really gives us the ability to look at everything, even even those ideas and, and facts and figures that are scary or that at one point we might have refused to consider. The Two of Swords is really gives you the strength to really look at all the all the um, options in front of you. I see the Queen of Swords is, is open to those things. Tower. Well, she's available for some kind of major change. She's available. Um, she's open to changing things up and really um, she's open to the change. She's open to the changing tides. She doesn't want anything to happen too. She is in a, I'm going to sneeze here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think she's also worried that it's, it, you know, she wants to make sure that it's held together, that it's going to be cohesive, that's going to work for the long run. But I think she is willing to make some changes here in order to, to manifest a situation um, that's, that's b better. And um, I would even have to say healthier than it was before. Well, six of wands. Yeah, there's the world energy. Three of cups, six of swords, queen of wands. Um, figuring it out, moving forward. Uh, and I think she's willing to do what she needs to do. And, and, and I think this situation eventually is going to be made public, whether it's to the employers involved or to the family involved. I, I do think that the queen of swords is willing to make the changes ne necessary to bring this new experience to a much better place. Let's look at the King of Pentacles. How does he connect into the Magician? How does the King of Pentacles connect into the Magician? Ten of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. I think this King of Pentacles has felt the burden of of life here. He's he has felt tired and um, depleted, and and really not really sure how he's going to kind of work his way out of a situation. So he's really felt burdened here, and he might be feeling like he's carrying the load. He's carrying the load of the work, or he's carrying the load of the household, or or something. I think that he's really felt kind of oppressed and, and tired and overwhelmed. Uh, and we we have him at the Nine of Pentacles as well. So I do think that there is some sort of an answer here. I think he's realizing that he needs a little bit more freedom, ability to make a little bit more money. Um, I think he would like to go to work. I think he enjoys, but I think he also enjoys his independence and he doesn't really want to be held back or held down anymore. I think he's asking for a little bit more freedom and he's, He's looking for some sort of outlet where he can express himself in an individual way, yes, but also um, to be able to access uh, earnings, to, uh, to be able to access his own potential in the income that he can bring in. So yeah, the King of Pentacles is very practical. He does look at money. He enjoys working. He enjoys managing that process. Um, he does always look into the future and manage that money. He he is a manager of money in a big way. He he knows what he wants to do with a home in five years, ten years. He wants he knows what he'd like to have in his bank account when he retires. He really does look into the future and he does want to make decisions today for the betterment of tomorrow. So I think he's realizing like what's happening for him now is is tiring and exhausting and i think he might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with everything and not sure like how he's going to come forward i think he's going to be asking uh, or insisting on a little bit more autonomy a little bit more freedom and the ability to to have some sort of an, a connection into the potential um, of an uncapped earning in one way or another but i think the both of you as you're working together here are indeed going to be creating something new but it's a judgment energy so in order to get into the into the uh 
a, a place of rejuvenation and place of growth, a place of betterment. It's a process of like, um, uh, I'm just getting a bunch of weird, <laughs> it's a, it's a, I'm just getting, there's a lot of funny, funny business coming in here, but really, um, it, it's a process of like looking at everything, even stuff that you don't like being able to accept, um, yourself, even if there are parts of yourself that you yourself don't really like, we all have that. And I think the King of Pentacles is, is doing that. He's saying like, Okay, I know myself and I know what's going to be healthy for me. And I know that um, if I can have this nine of pentacles quality that I'll be better off in the long run. Um, and I think he's being verbalizing that with the queen of swords. I think that she is um, recognizing that there's a change coming in here for her. And um, she's willing. Uh, she has the dedication. She has the passion. She has the commitment. And she's really willing to do what it takes to make this work. So I think you have both people here who are being real, who are being honest uh, and coming forward with with their um, fact sheets, resumes, <laughs> like with their um, plan of attack, and then they're kind of working together and, and creating something um, that's better than it was before. So that's really, that's really nice. I, I think, good job, good job, Gemini. It's really, uh, this is really how it's done. And I, and there's something here worth, really worth working for. And you've come a long ways and, and you're really stepping it up here. So it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. I am going to move to the extended reading now. We're going to dig into a couple more of these, um, a couple more of these cards. I wanted to look at the ma magician and um, I want to kind of look at the three of pentacles to see what we can get when we connect in with the three of pentacles. So these are the two um the two cards that I'm going to be looking at in the extended is the magician and the three of pentacles. And then we'll move this whole story forward to see how this is kind of going to flow um, flow into the weeks to come. All right, Gemini, thank you all very much for um, being here with me. Thanks for giving this reading a chance. I hope it um, is, is brought comfort and has brought information forward to kind of help in some way as you're moving forward. Thank you very much, Gemini.